In today's video, I will be building a winning team for only 50 euros. But before we go into that, this is a Monday video, so you know what that means. For uh, you to be a part of the Friday giveaway, you need to like every single video from Monday to Friday and also comment done on Friday's video with your sorry username. I will draw the winners on Twitter. But without further ado, let's jump right back into the video and look at the goalkeeper for this winning team for only 50 euros, and that is Eduard Mendy. And you probably know, if you have watched my latest video, you know that I love Eduard Mendy, and there are numerous reasons for that. Number one, because he plays for a team in uh, the uh, Saudi Arabia, I think he's playing for Al Ali, Saudi Pro League. Uh, that may qualify to the AFC Champions League next season, so you will have utility there. And also that the current AFCON for Senegal looks very, very good in terms of fixtures. Gambia and Guinea, those are two fantastic fixtures, and uh, I think you can utilize that. And he is a little bit on the expensive side, but that is because he hasn't been printed too much, but I still think 24 euros is very fair for a player like Eduard Mendy. He's, he has gone down a little bit, bit, 22 euros now. I think that is very fair, and um, the winning, the title is a winning team, and if you want to win, I think it will happen in game week 441 and game week 444. So those are the two fixtures you will utilize the most with this team I have made for you. And, uh, of course, <laughs> you need to do your own research, but I have uh, Eduard Mendy, but I don't have him in limited, I have him in rare, so I have a lot of faith in Eduard Mendy. So, this isn't just a video that I spit out there, this is actually something I'm currently doing myself. So, if you want to follow along, do it, and of course you can also do it in rare, but it's way uh, less risk in limited. And once again, more high reward in rare, but we aren't going to talk too much about that. And yeah, I just believe that he's very, very nailed, and also one of the best things about him, he's, he's extremely low L15, so you can play, probably this team can you play in every single division besides Cap 220. You can play, or I think you can play it in Cap 220, so if you want, you can play Cap 220 rare with this team, I think you'll be able to do that. And that can be a very fun thing to try to do, because uh, utilizing that low L15 can be, be very, very nice. And also, uh, one thing to keep in mind with Eduard Mendy is that Cap to 40 and Cap to 70, as I mentioned, is fantastic tournaments to play in him. And also, also he is a goalkeeper that is so good playing for a so strong side that I think you can use him anywhere. But partnering him up with Musa Niakate, and this is probably a player you need to buy now because he will go up so much in price if it is confirmed that he will be the starter centre-back besides Koulibaly. And he has also currently been in incredible form in the Premier League. Against Manchester United he smashed it, I watched the game, he was extremely good. And also against Newcastle uh, he did pretty well. So the thing with uh, him is that I think he will only go up in price. 3 euros I think are very fair and in a rare 28 euros. Extremely fair price for him. Keep in mind he will probably be uh, the starter mid uh, center back for Senegal. And also he have utility in the Premier League besides that. So I just think that this is uh, quite of a no-brainer for me. And partnering him up with Koulibaly can be a very, not Koulibaly, with Eduard Mendy can be a very, very interesting idea. And that is what you want to do if you will follow my instructions in today's video. And I think that can be, have a winning possibilities. Because we have seen how good he can be in sides or in the teams that aren't so dominant. Nottingham Forest against Arsenal Villa, 82 points. Nottingham Forest away against Wolves conceding goals. 67 points. He is extremely good AA scorer in my opinion, so uh, when he plays for a dominant side I think it will just be even better. And the next player is Koulibaly. You will have a triple Senegal defensive stack. And the reason for me liking this so much is because of the fixture against Gambia and Guinea. I can almost guarantee two or not two clean sheets, but at least one. And if you get the clean sheet, uh, they will probably win like two or three nil. So 
those players in defense will ha have extremely good scores, I think. I've also bought Koulibaly, so I believe in him as well. He's 18, a little under 18 euros in um, in 16, uh, 16 euros in limited, pretty fair, I think, and 100 in rare, pretty fair there as well, I think, personally. And uh, yeah, just look at his scores, like, he has incredible scores, and you need to keep in mind that in some of these features he has played, um, for example here or Al-Hilal have actually dominated, but still he gets incredible scores, and Al-Hilal is a dominant side. Senegal will be a dominant side against Gambia and Guinea, so he will be having similar scores to this. And just look at this, just incredible, and this is for Chelsea, keep that in mind. Chelsea lost 2-0 to Aston Villa, and he almost got a 100-pointer. The same with the Wolves. Chelsea lost, but he still almost he got the 100 pointer. Like this is just incredible stuff, and uh, you can just scroll down and see that he is incredible scorer. So uh, I would personally captain him in this team, Captain Koulibaly, because I think he is the best 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 scorer uh, sorry, scorer in this team, uh, unless he gets injured or something. Of course, you need to keep that in mind. But uh, this will be a little bit of a risk, but I think it can pay off big time if this team performs. And the next player is the midfielder, and keep in mind, buy the midfielder card, not the forward card. Don't do the same mistake as I did, because I have also him. And that is because we are going for a four-man Senegal stack. Four-man. And uh, as we see here, his scores recently aren't been, uh, isn't too good, but uh, he is the type of player that does very, very well for his national team. He hasn't played too much, but in the last international break he played and did perform very well. He did play two out of two games. And also for his price, two euros, I just think it's way too fair. Yeah, you can see here, you can pick him up now, like this is a no-brainer, and either way, uh, you can just sell him on because I don't think um, I don't think he will go down in value because he is almost on his all-time low, uh, and um, yeah, I just think this is another player that can be very good to get into your team, uh, and um, this is also to keep the budget down. Uh, hopefully, he can uh, in one of those games, Gambia or Guinea, get a decisive or something, and he can help this team by winning. Because we know he has those high peaks in him, 100s, 90s, 78s, he, if he can pick up that form, I know he's a good AA player and he can get you those decisive, so that's uh, what you want to get. And I will also come with uh, some replacement if you want to spend more on the players afterwards. And the next player is Karl Tuku Ekambi, and I love this player. I love this player because he plays for Cameroon, Unana are from Cameroon, I'm rooting for Cameroon in the Afghan, I hope Cameroon does very very well, um, because I think Unana needs that boost, um, so yeah, let's hope for that. And looking at his scores, his scores are pretty good in terms of, uh, he played at a pretty pretty, not so dominant team in uh, in the League One, Erené, or when he played there, I think they did pretty well actually. So, uh, but still, I just think he's a nail forward. He's a nail forward for Cameroon, and the reason for me saying that is because um, the player named Mbuemo is currently injured, and uh, so that just means that Hukukami will be a way, way more important player. And if we go to all, we can see that he played actually some games in the World Cup. But keep in mind, he didn't do too well. He didn't do too well. And the reason for me still picking him up and believing that he can be a part of a winning team is look at his all-time scores. And keep in mind, Cameroon have also some pretty good fixtures against Guinea and Gambia. And that is also why I want to partner him up with the four others, because they have the same fixtures on the same date. So when the four Senegal players have incredible fixtures, he has incredible fixtures. And also in gaming 443, you just put them in a captive fort lineup or a, um, or like a not the priority lineup or anything. Just try to get the reward in that game week. But the two game weeks you will focus on is game week 441 and 444. And then you just hope that you have more utility and you just pray that both of these teams qualify. I think Senegal will uh, come first and Cameroon second. So you'll have more utility out of these players. And um, yeah, I'm uh, really exciting, exciting, excited for this team, and I think it can do very, very well in the Afcon. 
Um, and it's a budget team, you can say that. I don't think this team is uh, too expensive, but it have that high, high, high ceiling, so you can get uh, a podium place. Uh, I actually believe you can get it, especially in the rare, because uh, in limited they are way, way harder. But I think you can be able to get at least a tier two. Uh, or uh, win most of the money back by playing them in limited. But as I said, this isn't financial advice. But if you want to spend more and follow my tips, I would switch out Karl Toko Kambi with Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane here, because he's the main man for uh, Senegal. The main man. He takes penalties. He's so influential. Uh, I think he is um, yeah, one of the most important players. So I would switch him out of um, out with uh, what's his name? I can't uh, remember his name. Tukwe can be I mean, uh, and then you will have a full stack with, um, and you also have utility in the AFC Champions League. So keep that in mind as well. So you have a full Senegal stack. That is like uh, the best thing in my opinion. But of course, it costs a little bit of more money here. We can see that he is worth. Um, yeah, 20 euros, so uh, you will spend a little bit more. And in midfield, I would personally change him with a Pape Sar. I have seen recently that he has gotten an injury. I don't know how serious it is, but rumors says he will be back for the AFCON. Uh, and he is very optimistic for that. So that is a very good sign in my opinion. We can see here in terms of price, 19 euros in limited and 100 in Rare, very fair in my opinion for him, and you also have a lot of utility for him later on for um, the dominant Premier League side of Tottenham at the moment with Postecoglou. Uh, I believe that uh, he can be a big part of that in the future, that's why he has also now signed a contract until 2030, I think. The next uh, seven years will he be in Tottenham. So, um, and also he scored last game, but unfortunately, as I said, he got taken out of the game. Um, so yeah. Very, very interesting player here, and uh, that is my changes if I would have had like a budget of 80 euros or 90 euros. Uh, and I think this team as well is extremely dominant, but uh, you don't need to do that changes. That is just if you have the finances to do it. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm so excited for the FCON. Are you as well? Which team are you rooting for? And do you have any utility? And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, and take care. Peace.